Let us discuss something about male factor infertility. We know that the male partner is often neglected, but remember that the single most important test which should be done for any infertile couple who walks into the clinic is the semen analysis. As I mentioned earlier, almost 50% of infertility is due to the male factor and it is important to establish this diagnosis and treat the male partner appropriately before moving on to aggressive treatments for the female partner. If the sperm analysis shows a low sperm count which is known as oligozoospermia or a poor sperm motility which is known as asthenozoospermia or too many abnormal sperms which is known as teratozoospermia then it would be advisable to seek an andrological consultation for this patient to know and to determine the cause of this problem. Also the test which would usually be required for the male partner besides the sperm analysis would be a hormone estimations in some cases which would be an estimation of serum testosterone, serum prolactin, sometimes serum FSH and LH. In addition, you might want to diagnose what is known as a varicocele where the vessels in the scrotum become thick and enlarged and dilated, bringing a rush of warm blood into the testicles, thereby damaging the sperm quality. This can easily be done with a scrotal color Doppler. Now, once all these investigations are done, the andrologist would decide whether the patient needs medical treatment or occasionally whether surgery, especially a varicocelectomy, is required. Remember, not all varicoceles require surgery and be sure to take a proper opinion as to whether you are likely to benefit with surgery or not. Nowadays, you have better options in the form of intrauterine insemination and in vitro fertilization which would definitely help these patients and could avoid an unnecessary surgery. For more complicated cases, you have other tests such as a detailed assessment of sperm function with a computerized analysis, assessment of sperm DNA integrity and fragmentation, study of Y deletions for genetic abnormalities and a genetic karyotype in case you suspect conditions such as a Klinefelter's syndrome.